Folks, in the previous episode, I talked about diagonal scales. So in this episode, we'll be doing a continuation of that, and I'll be answering the question. And this question, I'll be constructing a diagonal scale of twice full size to read up to six centimeters in millimeters and tenth of a millimeter. So let me break that down for you guys. So when I said diagonal scales, it is different from a plane scale. And this case, we are drawing a scale of twice full size. So what this means is that if it's reading up to six centimeters, so we are going to measure 12 centimeters instead so it is twice full size right so i'm going to be it's reading up to six centimeters in millimeters and tenths of a millimeter so instead of six centimeters we're measuring 12 centimeters length because it said twice full size so we draw a line and you cut out 12 centimeters that will be less that will be from 1 to 13. 1 to 13 yeah so it's 13 13 1 so this is let's call this AB. So this has a span of 12 centimeters. Now the next thing to do is um you divide your line into six equal parts. So the reason for this is that you are reading up to six centimeters, right? But it is actually twice full size. So in, in according to this diagonal scale, this is one centimeter. Whereas in real life, this is two centimeters. So that is that's one thing that you need to understand about scales. Your scales might not read the accurate the real life distance. But it is just a representation of distance. Now then we have this. So this is reading in what centimeters. So let's write centimeters cm at the bottom. Now the next stage is to divide the um, first unit into 10 equal parts. So let's divide the first unit into 10 equal parts. So you can just you can just do that on your ruler. That's when you are dividing 20 into 10 equal parts, each of the parts will be 2 centimeters. That will be let's say 2, 4. 6 i'm increasing them by 2 subsequently 8 10 12 14 16 18 and finally 20. now after doing that we we'll we'll write the perpendicular ac of any convenient height so you can use any convenient height you want to use but for the purpose of this video we're making use of two centimeters write the perpendicular so that 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 um, this perpendicular would, would um pass through these points these divisions of the line so these divisions your perpendicular will pass through the divisions so so good now let's draw the height of two centimeters that's from a span of from two to one so I'll, I'll, I'll also draw that So good, that's good. So there we have. So now the next step is to um, divide that um, perpendicular into 10 equal parts too. So you know we divide this horizontal into 10 equal parts, we also divide the per perpendicular. So even as it is um, one and a half, we divide it into, okay, it's actually one and a half, it's actually two. So we divide into 10 equal parts. So we'll still make it of two equal divisions. Now with two, four, six, it's 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and then finally we have 20. So now we divide into 10 equal parts. Now let's let's also divide the top of this um, horizontal scale into 10 equal parts because we need it for the diagonal scale. So I have the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 18 then 20 so now the, 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 the next thing is to draw the diagonal scale of one unit slope so in this case we are drawing from right to left since the one unit slope so we'll join number one on the bottom divisions to, to zero two number two to number one so you can see that is a one unit slope which is not vertical it is at a slope for so you can see that this is this is actually a one unit slope so this how to draw a diagonal. You can have to draw a diagonal of two units look. But all you need to do you know is that the um the displacement of the um line from the vertical with two points. That's in terms of lines. So you can see that we'll displace this one one line. Actually, this was supposed to be the vertical line, but it has been displaced from year to year. That means guys, it's now at it's now a diagonal line. So we also divide the um the perpendicular into 
equal parts and then we'll, we'll, we'll run them to the right there we go Now, finally, when we, when we are done with that, let's um, pick any measurement to measure on the diagonal scale. So, in this case, let's assume we, want, we are to measure 24.7 um, millimeters. So, in this case, all you need to do is now because your 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 scale is measuring in centimeters, so this will be um, 20 millimeters because if this is one centimeters, so this will be 10 centimeters, and this is another thing that makes 20. So we have 20 already. So let's draw the line. So this 20, this from here to here we have 20. So and then we need four. So we have four on the bottom. Four. One, we have one, two, three, four. So this is this is the point where we draw the four. Then also we also have we need seven because we are to measure 24.7, right? So that means we have 20 on the main scale. We have um four on the bottom diagonal, and then on the perpendicular we need seven. That was measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be the point seven. Now the next thing to, to trace this point and this one see they intersect so this is where it intersects and this one they intersect at this point so this is the required point for the diagonal scale let's take it upwards and that will be the dimension of this this is this what we have to measure so this is it so make it of we dimension it now so this is the length so this length here is actually 24.7 millimeters using the diagonal scale so thanks for watching and I hope you gained one or two things from this video.